as we're now um, turning quickly through some of these chapters, let's just, let's touch on a couple of verses along the way as we go. Chapter 8 verse 20 has some very sobering words that actually the Lord is going to repeat later on in the Doctrine and Covenants. Um, you're going to hear this phrase again, this idea of the harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved, which flies in the face of what Laman and Lemuel believe about everything in, in Jerusalem at the time when, when their father took them out. They're like, no, we're going to be saved, it's all going to be good. And here's Jeremiah, who's a contemporary of that family, saying, no, the, the day's going to come when this the harvest is past, the fields are all gleaned, the summer's ended, falls on its way, and we are not saved. Those are sobering words um, that Jeremiah's, if you stop and think about it, his whole purpose isn't to try to discourage people, it's to try to paint a realistic picture so they don't experience these things, and unfortunately, they're going to experience these things. They procrastinate their repentance. When I'm teaching, I like asking, so, okay, how many of you struggle with procrastination? And half of the hands will go up and I'll say, well, the rest of you just haven't gotten around to raising your hands yet. <laughs> you know, <we're> all, <laughs> uh, but, but this idea, how many times have I procrastinated something that I thought was going to be difficult until I got myself in this real uncomfortable place? And then when I finally get started, I'm like, why didn't I do this a month ago? I feel so much better. We, we believe we can procrastinate for ever and nothing will ever change, but there are, and I hate to say it, there are opportunities lost, and the damage we do to ourselves, the stress we put on ourselves by not just making our lives better today, mm -hmm. I'll do it tomorrow, what a, what a, I, I'm going to feel stress one more day and then I'll feel better tomorrow, I want to feel miserable, good, and we do this, right, I'm good and miserable today, I'm going to work on this tomorrow, mm, or let's just get, let's start today. Right? For my spirit will not always strive with man, right? It's mm -hmm. There comes that time when he says, okay, you don't want to change? Uh, that's your choice. Joshua tells people, choose ye this day. He doesn't say, make the decision tomorrow or maybe in a week. Uh, it's fascinating right. that the person you want to be gets decided today. So whatever future self you want for yourself, you have to choose today to start living that person now because the future will happen, and if you don't start living that future self now, when you get there, you will be a different person than mm -hmm. who you imagine. So the only way to build your future self for the future is to start today, right now. That's what God's asking us. And another way of putting that is the, the only time you have agency is the now time. You don't have agency tomorrow. I mean, that, that, until it becomes now, but and oh, I'm gonna, I'll have more power tomorrow after making bad choices for another day. The tomorrow me is gonna be better equipped. Now is the moment that where the agency resides. And so I need to act now, not tomorrow.